divine path. Evangelist Nadine Sterling to come. Amen. And she's going to give us the opening prayer. Can we just sing that song for something good? Want to have planned something good. Because you're worthy from the rising of the sun. Lord God, as we gather in your presence to dedicate this foundation in your name, Jesus. I'm going to ask you, Lord, to consecrate this place afresh, mighty God. Renew our minds. Renew our hearts. Remember the speaker tonight, Lord God. Touching that when you bring forth your words, souls may be born for your kingdom. We trust you, Lord. We Celebrate for the angel. Celebrate the angel of this house. Amen. 
Mr. Anthony Buxford, who willingly, come on, I can't hear you, church. I know we didn't mean to say church, but I think you're an audience believer about tonight. Amen. Come on, musicians, if they want to clap, you help me celebrate this man of God, this set man of God, amen, who graciously, amen, opened the doors of this beautiful church, amen, and allowed us to be here on tonight. Is that amen? Come on, punch your hands to him and say, bless the Lord. Come on, one more time, say, bless the Lord. Come on, one more time, say, bless the Lord. And say, bless this house, Lord. Hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise God. We're going to stand on our feet again. Amen. And we are going to put our voices together. Amen. We're going to join in this old song of Zion. When Israel out of bondage came, a sea before them lay, the, the Lord reached out his mighty hands and rolled the sea away. Then forward still. Somebody say forward. This is what this organization is going to do. Somebody say forward. Still tis Jehovah's will. Though the bills that should spray with a conquering tread, we will push ahead and roll the sea away. Amen. When Israel out of bondage came, I'll see before them day.
presence of God. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. We're grateful, amen, that we are yet alive. Amen. We're yet alive to, 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 to witness another day. Amen. Amen. Nobody came in here this afternoon, amen, with the assistance of anyone. I don't think so. Amen. I don't see any wheelchairs around. Amen. We all are alive. Amen. We have uh, the members of our bodies intact, amen, and functioning. And I think that's reason enough for somebody to give God a praise. Hallelujah. Because he has done so very much for us. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask um, uh, Evangelist Kerry Jones to come uh, to give us a statement about what the organization is about and a calendar of events. Won't you put your hands together and make her welcome as she comes at this time? Brother, 
Our outreach department is headed by Bishop Fabian Steele and Pastor Kimar Lambert. Our Golden Years Department is headed by Minister Taisha Bedford and Evangelist Nadine Sterling. So Golden Years is our senior department, right? Just in case you were wondering. And last but certainly not least, our Public Relations Department, which is headed by none other than Bishop Howard Beckford and Sister Kerry Jones, that would be me. If you're interested in partnering with Takai, or specifically any department within Takai, please see our email on the back of your program for more information. You can send us an email, and we will be very prompt to respond to let you know what the criteria is if you're interested in any partnership with us. You will be seeing more of us in the coming months. We have a full calendar of events that will be released shortly. And thank you for your support. Here, you somebody shout amen. amen. Uh, yeah, we thank God. Put your hands together, amen, for that. This Karen show, uh, it doesn't matter, amen. And let's thank God, amen, for the visionary of this organization, Bishop Elect. Yeah, put your hands together for him, amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, I think we ought to do better than that, amen. Let us give honor to whom honor is due, amen. Put your hands together and bless God. Amen. The scripture reminds us where there is no vision, people perish. Amen. And we thank God even in these closing uh, days. Amen. There is still yet, amen, a, a vision in the, in the house. Amen. Immediately following uh, the introduction of the speaker by Reverend Fabian Morrison, amen, I'm going to ask Ms. Minister Taisha Beckford, amen, to prepare her song of meditation. Amen. At this time, amen, uh, uh, Reverend Faith and Morrison, won't you come and uh, introduce the set man of God for the speaking moment on tonight? Put your hands together for her. Without the word, then we are still empty. Amen? Amen. And tonight we have a word in the house. Oh, yeah. And that God, yeah. He's just going to just tell us what God gave Him for us tonight. Amen. So let us see if we can learn a little bit about who this person is. Fabian Steele was born in Jamaica. Fabian is the father of three beautiful children. Two boys and a beautiful girl. He's a husband to Kadim Steele, beautiful Kadim Steele. Kadim was given the name Fireball after ministering in Kingston, Jamaica, where he was uh, reported that smoke, after he was finished preaching, then smoke was coming off the altar. I can just imagine what that looks like. So he gave him the name Fireball, Fire for Jesus. Fabian is zealous about, the, about serving and helping those in his community. Fabian founded Lend and Foundation, which, was, which has been able to help over 150 children to go back to school at Oli. You know, we should give him a clap for that because there's so many, so many children that are struggling, especially during this time of um, the pandemic. Fabian launched his own ministry called Mount of God Healing and Deliverance Church in New Haven, Connecticut, where he is ordained an ordained bishop. Fabian continues to keep himself busy, enjoying time with his family and, and the work of the Lord. He traveled nationally and internationally, using his, his many gifts to minister 
and winning souls to the, to, to the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Please stand. I'm going to, well, not yet. Not yet. After um, Minister Tish is finished, I want you to stand and, uh, you know, give the man of God his due respect. Amen? Amen? And we're going to stand and we're going to welcome him. And we are going to, you know, be with him while he's preaching. We want to be with him. We want to preach him on. We want to, you know, encourage him tonight as he break bread with us. So put your hands together for Bishop Fabian Steele. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. You can be great cathedrals or just small.
apostles yeah. and some prophets. Yeah. Glad to see my brother Alex. God bless you from the Grand Cayman Islands days. Glad to see my friend and brother minister Emily Ray Gray from Jamaica. I wish some Jamaican was in here. We said Jamaica. Yeah. And we said I'm always hiding in Florida. and some pastors and some teachers. Verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the, ed for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's key to it. The commission, the unification and development of the people. When I look at the word commission, God bless your Facebook friends that are watching. God bless you. The word commission is a noun. Plural noun is commissions. An instruction, command, or duty given to a person or group of people. Amen. He received a commission to act as an informer or an order for something especially a work of art to be produced so what you are seeing here tonight what we are about to launch is that we have gotten a command from God come on somebody we have gotten a command from God amen and this is what we need to do is to get different people from different churches Different leaders from different churches. Amen. This is not a denominational amen, structure. Yes, amen. But we, we ride into different denominations. Amen. To hear what God has to say to us and the instruction from God that He has given unto us. My God. Unification means it is a process by which two or more countries join together and become one country. And we are seeing here more than one church has come together as one people. Oh, you're not talking to me. And then we are commissioned from one God. Come on, somebody. We are instructed by one God. And then one fear. Somebody help me up in here. And then we might have different titles. We might have different church names. But because of God, we come together. So we put away our title, we put away our church name, we keep it on, and then our church name as a let us come together as one. One of the problems that the body of Christ is having is that if your church is not my church, we can't work together. I feel my head for the way, I feel my head for the Amen, amen. If you don't dress like me, if I don't dress like you, I might not be going to heaven. I might not have the Holy Ghost. If I don't speak in tongues like the way how you speak in tongues, you might think I'm not right as you are. Amen. But we need to get rid of all those labels and come together as one. Look at the label. And to come together as one. If there's any time that the body of Christ and then unify is now. If there's any time we need to come together, it's now. Come on, help me up in here, somebody. Because when the enemy comes in upon us like a flood, and then we got to come together as one that the Holy Ghost can lift up a standard. I said to look at the name and your neighbor. Let's come together as one. God is calling on the church. Say that one more time. God is calling back the church to oneness. Let me say that again. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, I wish I had some help down there. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, the church of the living God, they were at one accord. Somebody had never been here. I believe Baptist was in the house. Somebody let me go some more. A pastor, it was 
we have some people in the body of Christ who are sabotaging the ministry. But God called this UK group that you can be this to the to Thai group and make somebody up in here. And we're going to show everybody else that we don't have to come from one church to come from the other. We are going to show the world that we are going to make a difference in America, in Jamaica, in England. Somebody help me up in here. We are going to show people that you don't have to be the head for God to use you. Because the two is important. Just like the head, the hand is important. Just like the higher. Somebody help me up in here. Somebody say yes. We are pressing on. I'm getting ready to close. We are 
cities. We come to develop. I'm here to serve the enemy notice. Why I'm getting ready to take my seat. Because these are not ignorant of the devil devices. And what we start here today, we are going to come under attack. But I want to go on and get now. So when them throw the stool, they just box us up. Throw me in a fire. I will never get burned. Look at the neighbors and neighbor. I'm trying to progress. But the neighbors and neighbor. I'm not going to stay here. And I, I'm going forward. I'm going forward. I hear Paul said, I think not myself. So I'm apprehended. But this one thing I do. This one thing I do. Somebody shout, I am you! I am you! Somebody shout! 
amen, amen, hallelujah, that we're being developed further for you to see. One last time, put your hands together for uh, Bishop Fabian Steele, amen. Powerful words, amen, hallelujah. This time, amen, uh, we are going to transition, amen, into a new program, amen, amen. Uh, Hallelujah. I feel like it's Sunday morning. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, somebody else to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, one more time. Hallelujah. The presence of God. The of God. They preach for me anytime. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I promise you I'm going to get to shout when I put the mic down. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody who knows to draw the nose will come. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. At this time, we're going to move right into the solemn installation proceedings. I'm going to invite at this time uh, the advisors who are present. Amen. None other than uh, the Bishop Anthony Guxmore and the Reverend Jennifer, Pastor Jennifer Holtang. Amen. Put your hands together for them as they come in Jesus' name. Come on, we bless the Lord somewhere. Come on, come on and give him praise. Yes, he's worthy tonight. He's worthy of just such a powerful word. Oh, uh, come on, somebody praise him. Somebody magnify the Lord. Come on. Let everything that I've breath. Yes, 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 yes. He is worthy tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, church of God, just give my praise for that word. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Truly, God is a good God. Praise God. We give praises unto God tonight and to praise God to uh, Pastor Bishop Young, Bishop Fabian Steele. And all the other bishops in the house and pastors, I may not know your name and your title. Praise God. But praise God. It's good to see you. Praise God. And I greet you tonight in the mighty and awesome name of Jesus. Men and women of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And to all God's people, you may see in your presence of God. Truly bless the Lord for tonight. Amen. What an awesome night. Praise God. Amen. Uh, bless God that we could come together. Thank God for the visionary. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The word of God said, without a vision, yes. my people perish. Yes. So we bless God that God has given the vision to an individual. Yes. And in a buckle, the scripture said, write the vision yes. and make it plain. We bless God that he wrote it to all these officers. Yes. Amen. And make it plain that they could understand yes. that tonight we have a long, launching. We have, we have launched out, praise God, with this organization. Yes. God bless everyone that is a part of this organization. And I am privileged to serve. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. As an advisor, with Pastor Bolton, praise God, and Pastor Jen, it's fine. Pastor Jen, amen, praise God, and Bishop Trickett, praise God, he's absent tonight. What I want to do at this time, praise God, is just admonish those who are placed in office. It's important that we know who we are as men and women of God representing the body of Christ in the church of the living God. We are to know who we are. It's not just to be named or placed in a position and then we just go and do what we want to do or what we feel like doing. We have an awesome responsibility. Amen. Amen. Praise God. To uphold. Praise God. The, 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 
the things of God and the work of God. So I want to just admonish you before Pastor Jay come to, 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 to give you the charge and we lay hands and pray for you. Praise God. Bless God. I want to admonish you from the book of Job. Job chapter 2 and verse 9. And Job wife said unto Job, Dost thou still retain thy integrity? My God. Curse God and die. My God. My word of un unmonishment to you today, tonight, is to maintain your integrity. Maintain your integrity. If you look, Job chapter 1 and verse 8, God distinctly declared who Job is. God said to Satan that there is none like him in the land. He is an upright man. This is the old year God declaring to Satan, Job, integrity. God said that he is an upright man. Praise God. And after God said that, God, Satan, asked God to give me a chance to see how much Job is upright. My God. How much Job is walking is in his integrity. Yeah. And the scripture said that one thing after the other. First, Job lost his, his sheep and his servants. And then he lost his camel and his servants. And then his sons and his daughters who oh, praise God. Oh God. And Job still maintained his integrity. Amen. Oh praise God. Praise the, Lord. the scripture said that Satan was not contented with just taking Job material things. Satan said, skin for skin. Give me a chance to touch Job and see if he will not lose in his integrity by cursing you to your face. Bless God. And Satan went out and touched Job. And the scripture said, from, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. There were sores and boils. And as he sat there, on and on, he had lost everything. Everything. And he sat there with the one that is next to him, his wife. And she looked at him holding on to his integrity. And the Bible said that she said to him, Just do you still maintain or retain your integrity? The only thing that Job had left was in his integrity. Praise God. Your integrity is uh, the quality of being honest. The quality. The quality of being honest and having a strong moral principle. Moral uprightness. And that's what God said about Job. He's an upright man. And the, the enemy of Job's soul want Job to lose or give up his integrity. Looking in his face, the one that is very, very close to him, 
look him in his face and say, why don't you curse God and die? I want you to look at the language that she used. As officers in this organization, look at the language she used. Curse God and die. To curse, it, it means to speak derogatory about God. And many times as saints, as officers, the enemy, all of us, have come to that place where we are tempted and tried. And if we don't maintain a strong integrity, we will lose it and begin to curse. I'm, in, I'm admonishing us tonight to maintain your integrity. Doesn't matter what they say about you. Doesn't matter how they come at you. It doesn't matter if they even curse you. Maintain church of God. Officer, every one of you that, that are placed in office tonight, I admonish you that if you don't do anything, maintain your integrity. Your integrity is who you are, whether it's night or day, whether it's light or darkness. That's who we, God, God distinctly say that Job is an upright man. God declared who Job was. And Job maintained his integrity. Even when his wife admonish him to curse God, he maintained his integrity. Maintain uprightness. I mean, there's too many, too many things that have been said about us. Don't allow anymore. God is counting on you. you are, we are placed in this office tonight. God is counting on you. I go to church. I'm old now. And I grew up in church and I've seen a lot of things. But one thing I have learned sometimes is to shut your mouth and let people say what they want to say. Oh my God. I have learned Bishop Steele to outlive my critics. You don't have to. You don't have to answer. Set an example. Oh God. Set an example. Like Michelle Obama said, when they go low, when they go low, we go high. Maintain, maintain your integrity, your uprightness, because God is counting on you. Hallelujah. Praise God. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together for Bishop Gospel. I'm sure it's all going to stand up here. I'm vertically challenged. All right. So in my in my in my vertically challengedness, I will I'll stand on the platform. We praise the name of the Lord. And I want you all as the members of Two Kind to remain standing. I want our cameraman to come and join them. Yes. Uh, you know, I'll try to stay right here so I don't mess with your plan. <laughs> we bless the name of Jesus. I'm about to give you a charge. And the charge that I'm going to give on tonight is a download from the Spirit of God. Um, I am I'm privileged and honored to be asked to even be a part of your organization as an advisor. Um, and it is something, as you all know, prayerfully approached, because I do nothing unless the Lord gives me liberty. Amen. And after having prayed about whether I should be a part of the organization, the Spirit of God said, their heart is in the right place. Amen. So, Lord, if you would excuse my 
back. Because the charge is not for you, at least the first part. The first part is for them. Beloved members of Tukai, I charge you to be active in community struggles, bearing witness to God's love for the world, and thereby being a sign and a symbol of Emmanuel, God with us. Be a sign and symbol of Emmanuel in times of trouble, standing with the least of these. I charge you, members of Tukai, to take seriously the ministry of presence as expressed in your visits to people in communities that you will serve in times of joy and in times of sorrow. Continue to develop a listening ear so that you can be an effective counselor to those that are going through the shadowy valleys and climbing the mounts of transfiguration. I further charge you members of Tukai to continue your education, reading materials which will sharpen your analysis of the world, Amen. the world that is around you and the spirit that is within us. As you do so, share with others through formal Christian education venues, through your blogs, through your workshops, through your sessions. Share that in forms of social media, being mindful that pictures of yourself are not necessary to get the message across. To kind members is not about you. It's about the Lord. I charge you, members of Tukai, to take care of yourself both physically and emotionally. To keep close those who you love, nurture, and support you in your community work and personal development. Also, to find time to nurture and support others whom you share your life with, whether they be family, friends, spouse, and or children. You are not to become consumed with Tukai. You are to remember that there is balance in your ministry. When I pray today, trust me, we will pray and decree over your lives that you ought not to be so consumed that your families are forgotten. Because if we serve not our families, we have failed the mission of the cross. I also charge the members of Tukai to keep a healthy sense of humor. I charge you to live what you preach in powerful and liberating ways, bringing to the pulpit of life strong spiritual power, immersed in social justice, contoured by sharp intellectual and hermeneutical insights. We use big words, y'all. We use big words, hallelujah. Engaging cultural criticism, Pointing always to Jesus, who wants us to be responsible agents of his love and promises to always have your back. If you accept this charge, members of Tekai, say amen. amen. Now to the people that are watching on Facebook, to the people that are here in this room, I charge you to be diligent, Supportive. I charge you to keep your mouths, keep your mouths, keep your mouths. When to kind may do things that you may not quite understand because the Spirit of God is working with them in new ways, because sometimes you expect the Spirit of God to do the same old thing. God is a God who does new things. God is doing something new to God. When the Spirit of God moves in ways that we do not understand, I charge the people of God to be patient. Yes. And to set a watch before your tongue. Before criticism leaves your lips, seek the Lord. I charge the people of God to be supportive in your financial blessing, to be supportive in your prayer, and to be supportive with your own ministries. Yes. Not to pull them down, but to lift them up. Yes. And if you accept their charge, to those that are in the house, I want you to say amen. Those online, type amen in the comments. Yes. Amen. 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 
bless the Lord. We bless God. What we're going to do, we're, now we want to do the anointing. It's not that we're going to lay hands because most of you are not under the same ministry. So I want to lay hands on you. But we will pour the oil in your hand. Then you can anoint your self.
give you glory. We want to give you honor. We want to give you praise. We want to magnify your name. Because your name is worthy to be praised. Your name is worthy to be held in counsel. Father God, there is no name like your name. There is no God like your your God. There is no name in the heavens, no name in the earth that is like you. Father, we are here not for fame, not for fashion, but we are here, oh God, because you are God and God alone. We are here because you still sit upon the throne. We are here because you are still the true and the living God. Father, we just want to pause
officially introduce the, the members of the newly formed and officially launched United for Change Alliance.
As Sister Carrie alluded earlier on about what you're about, I won't even go into that because she did well with that. And even though we are not a church, in our structure, even though we're not a church, our foundation is built on Christ, the solid rock. As such, we hope to create a positive Christian impact in the lives of the people we serve. Now, the book church organization in the diaspora is relatively small, or relatively small rather. Thus, to achieve our purpose should not be too much of a difficult task. No. Zion and Spiritual Baptist are great churches once you get to understand us. Yes, Therefore, within the second and final year of my tenure, because we do have tenure, we, 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 nobody holds office for the duration of their life. Well. And I think that is one of the things that is causing trouble. Because everybody wants to start something and hold it till they die. Yes. Don't want to share it and turn it over to fresh minds. Sure. And fresh ideas. During my term tenure, under my portfolio, I will take on a, my, my, as a mandate first to produce a book and documentary of both organizations so people can understand us a little bit more. The perception of both church organizations have been tainted with myths and stigmas for centuries. However, we're, we're living in a well developed age where both faiths are producing men and women with enhanced knowledge. Yeah. Enough for us to do our own research, write our own books, and make our own documentaries that speak our truth, not mixed with facts and fictions, but only facts. This will help to clarify some of the myths and stigmas and hopefully change people's own cognition towards us. It will not be easy, but it will be worth the try. Also, I will take on in my portfolio the mandate of developing a scholarship program to encourage tertiary education and help those who do not want to go to university but desire to learn a trade or skill. Because everybody wants to go to university, but there are some people who don't want to. They want to know basic trade. We want to help them in that sense. Is it needed? There you go. To the governing body of Tokai, who labored behind the scenes, who labored behind the scenes to ensure everything was carefully established. The mission is now. Listen, when I said we labored, it's behind the scenes. We didn't do this in one month. No. It took months with creative minds to get this together so that we don't start this and try to bet it. And that again too is one of the challenges that most of the organization faces that when we, we try to build stuff when we, we, try, we launch it and try to build it. But if we try to build it before, then launching it and carrying out the mandate would be way easier and better. Now, we have a great task ahead of us that is only feasible if we continue to work as a unit. Launching an organization in a time like this is unique. In the sense that we are launching while we are wrestling with an unseen demon in COVID-19. Yeah, and what we are planning are better without the limited human interaction. However, we will achieve that which we set to accomplish with God as our guide. Could you stand? Everybody that's in the room, just stand. And put your hands together for the Lord and body to die. To the advisory council who did a marvelous job. Pastor Oakland, Bishop Doug Smore, and Bishop Griffiths. And even though Bishop Griffiths is not here, they dialogue together to see how best they could do this. And I appreciate that so much. We appreciate that so much. We look forward to your wise counsel and your mentorship. You may be seated. To the Zion and Spiritual Baptist Church leaders and to all the leaders from different faith, we are grateful for those who are on board with Tokai. And we look forward to those who will come on board. We are not here to steal members. We are not here to steal members. We are not here to steal members. So no worries because we are not a church. In fact, we are prevented from doing so since the laws of the land 
of America and up to Kai does not allow such foul behavior. Instead, we seek to create a balance between the spiritual and social welfare of our people. We are aware that every church has their own programs to cater for the development of their members. We will not take away from such, but we seek to add value to them through our own initiatives. Additionally, we, we will continue to research ways in which we can better assist the church and communities as time con continues and apply them. Like I said, we're not only just catering for people that are within the church, but we hope to cater for persons who are in our community. Bless God. Therefore, we crave your support and partnership and that of our members or our partners to carry out our purpose, which we will in return make us better. So partner with us now. We mean good. In closing, the refined Zion and spiritual Baptists the refined church that we are looking to see is not coming. It's not coming. You've got the revelation, sir. It is already here. It is you, it is me, and it is those who are watching. We are the change. Please pray for us fervently and earnestly in your own endeavors. Pray for me in my capacity that my heart will remain cemented in humility. My strength will be renewed when I get weak. And my leadership skills will grow and continuously be guided by Christ. Pray for my fellow pioneers that their heart too will also remain in humility and their service will create a great impact to the generation that is and is to come. Pray for the lifespan of Tokai to be strong and healthy with many years. Pray against everything that will work against its reign and plot for its demise. Pray its success in all in endeavors. Thank you. We can only win this war if we unite it. Divided we fall. And the kingdom of God, if you see the structure, we're all here and there. But we need to come together as one and work together to make the kingdom better. Now we're going to, we, we, we have gone through a more solemn part of, of the whole ceremony. But now we're going to get into a more upbeat part. Because people want to work, I, I hear you. We want to worship, and I know we have some great people in here, some great sounders in here tonight that is going to take the roof off and build it back. Let's go. I hope you see that. So at this time, I'm going to invite my brother, Pastor Kimar Lumber, to come and do our work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we magnify the name of Jesus? Shall we magnify the name of Jesus? Amen. I say praise God and I'm just listening and I'm so excited. But I just want us to relax for a minute. Amen? And I want us to get comfortable. Praise God. We hear what the organization of that part is all about. Praise the Lord. So we're going to worship for a minute before I introduce and welcome that people. Amen? Oh, praise the Lord. So this song came to my mind, I'll just sit and I'm just thinking about the organization and what we are about to face. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walk with me.
Amen. and shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our president, the speaker, and all the speakers before that came to the public. Open this city is not a church, but we are praise God rooted on Christ. Oh, praise the Lord that in Christ. Praise the Lord. Oh, magnify the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me just say our uh, congratulations to um, the Tukai family. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we are in it, praise God, not for a show, but we are in it to make a change. So worship the Lord. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I uh, praise God. I want to welcome. Praise God, all you wonderful people tonight to Amen. praise God or launch, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm sure if it wasn't for this dragon that we're facing, we would have a larger crowd tonight. Praise the Lord. But we're happy anyhow. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So all the visiting churches in the house, all the visiting leaders, praise God. I want to make welcome to you. Praise the Lord. We have Pastor Hamilton in the house. So praise the Lord. God bless you, God bless you, praise the Lord, amen, amen. We have evangelist um, Arlene Campbell in the house, praise the Lord, God bless you, praise the Lord. Put your hands together, put your hands together, make them welcome. Amen, amen, we have praise the Lord, representative from Bishop Austin, of praise the name of Jesus, God bless you, amen, amen. Uh, to our musician, praise the Lord, amen. Uh, to our guest artist, I would say, from Florida, praise the name of Jesus, or magnify the Lord. Oh, you by the name of Jesus. Amen. And to Bishop Elect Steele, Bradley, praise the name of Jesus. God bless you, please. First thing, Steele, praise God, and the rest of the family. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, worship the Lord. To the New Vision family in the house. Amen. Praise God. I, I, I believe the New Vision family must and have to be here. Amen. First, praise God. Past and first thing is a part of the community. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, worship the Lord. Amen. Well, tonight, just feel free, praise God, and I'm just, uh, Amen. I'm behind the house, praise the Lord, we have the guys this camera, I wish the Lord, our guys, praise the name of Jesus, Amen, oh, praise God, and there's a visitor, praise the name of Jesus, God bless you, Amen, and the upper room family in the house, they're trying to sing pastor, forget about the upper room, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, all that you did tonight, Bishop Young, put them on duty, praise God, oh, praise the name of Jesus, Oh, worship the Lord. Oh, worship the Lord. Amen, amen. I'm excited about when it comes to worship. Amen. We can't do nothing without worship. So let's say hallelujah. Just don't let me get nervous. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. 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 God bless you all tonight. Feel free to worship. Praise the Lord. Feel free to the separate prayer that we have. Uh, my sister in the house, praise God, God bless you, amen, praise the Lord, or oh, worship the Lord, amen, don't, 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 do not do not do not forget, amen, I wanted to say something, but we're not tired, oh, praise the Lord, or oh, worship the Lord, to the, to the, the man of the house, that graced us with this beautiful sanctuary to launch this, praise God, beautiful organization, we want to thank you, praise the Lord, and we appreciate you opening your doors to us tonight, praise the name of Jesus, Amen. And so all of the rest of the community, praise God, Reverend Cameron and all the other, I mean, Reverend Myerson and all the other um, offices, praise God, Bishop Becker. I greet you all and I welcome you all. Amen. God bless you. Feel free and now and go back the rest to our president. Praise the Lord, Bishop Young. Oh, praise the Lord. We have more Carmen in the house. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Don't take it personally if I miss you, church. Praise God, I'm still learning. Amen. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to go back to our president. My, 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 my. I know thou art mine. Jesus. Jesus. 
Now let me know you need to do So this one. Do you have to match this twice? Well, I'll give you money, I'm not charging you yet. You're charging, I'm not giving you the money. So the, the, the charge was this one. Jesus. <laughs> I read it, I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright, so let's add it. Alright, add 20 more to 50. Not kill you. Add 20 more to 50. Just give me 70 to 50. Which are the nearest I can go to later on? Thank you so kindly. Thank you so kindly. Yes. Thank you so kindly. Oh God. Oh God. Those of you online, we still have ways in which you can so if you want to see if you want to see via Zelle or you want to give via Cash App, we have the link. So the Cash App link is dollar sign Tukai, which is T U C A I for the Cash App and for the Zelle, it's Treasurer Tukai at gmail.com. So for Zelle, it's Treasurer. Tukai at gmail.com and for cash up is dollar sign Tukai, which is T U C A I. If you don't have live cash, it's take via cash up in Zen. So we finish it with the, the rest of them. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for time is failing us. If I can just get $20 from you guys in the queue, it's going to be there 50 RT. Only go quickly. Do something wrong. I'm going to have it. Anything? Do something wrong. Do it up. Pass the hand and give me something wrong. This one. Pass the hand and give me something wrong. 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 Give me
and all my family on the podium, I want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who are sitting down, I just want to greet you and thank you for being here and thank you for your support and thank you for your invitation, Bishop. Hallelujah. Shall be in the bed. One shall be taken when Jesus come again. The other is left behind. Two men quite on the mill, but one shall be taken. When Jesus comes again, the other is left behind. What if you, what if you should be left behind?
If you're really not going to just move your hands, you can do it. I want to be your two-kind one more time. Come on, put your hands together.
Come on. Go ahead. Go back. Go back. My time. Come on. Are